Hi, historical knowledge of mathematics can broaden the outlook, enrich minds and motivate the learner to contribute something towards the development of mathematics. It helps to avoid compact mental issues on teaching and encourages reading and other desirable habits. Now, I am going to lecture about the contributions of Euclid in mathematics. Euclid, 325 BC to 265 BC. He was, he is called as a father of geometry. Euclid, best known for his treatise on mathematics elements. He was born about 325 BC. Little is known about his life except that the thought mathematics about 300 BC in royal school at Alexandria in Egypt that has been founded by Ptolemy, the successor of Alexander the Great. He must have studied Plato's academy in Athens and learned the geometry of Eudoxus and Theotoxus, of which he was familiar. He is considered a, one of the great, great mathematicians. He died 265 BC. Euclid elements. Books are given the content of subject matter are the 13 books of the elements. Book 1. Book 1 proves the elementary theorems about triangles and parallelograms and ends with the Pythagorean theorem. Book 2. It has been known as a geometrical algebra because it states algebraic identities as theorems about equivalent geometric figures. This book contains a construction of the sections, the divisions of line into two parts, such that the ratio of the original line to the larger segments. It also generalizes the Pythagorean theorem to arbitrary triangles, a result that is equivalent to the law of cosines. Book 3. It gives details of properties of circle. Book 4 deals with the construction of regular polygons, in particular the pentagon. Book 5 developed the general theory of ratios and proportions. It formed the foundations for the geometric theory of numbers, the foundations for the geometric theory of numer numbers until an algebraic theory developed in the late of 19th century. Book 6 applies the theory of ratios to plane geometry, mainly triangles and parallelograms culminating in the applications of areas, a procedure for solving quadratic problems by geometric means. Book 7. Desirable a method, Anton Arias, now known as equated algorithm, for finding the great common divisions of two or more numbers. Book 8. Examines number in continued proportions known as geometric sequence, such as AX, AX, power 2, x power 3 and x power 4. Book 9 proves that there are infinite numbers. Book 10 which comprises roughly one fourth of elements seems disproportionate to the importance of its classifications of incommensurable lines and areas. Book 11 deals with the intersections of planes, lines and parapet sites. Solids which parallel parallelograms as opposite faces. Book 12 provides Eudoxus method of a scassons to prove the areas of a circle are to one another as the squares of the diameters and the volumes of the sphere are to one another as the cubes of the diameters. Book 13 culminating with the constructions of the five regular platonic solids, pyramid, cube, octahedron, dodecahedron, isohedron in a given sphere. Euclid also wrote other books in mathematics and few in physics. The importance of them are data on divisions of figures, phenomena, optics, etc. Data. Data deals with the natural, natural and implications of given information in geometrical problems. The subject matter is closely related to the first four books of elements. It comprising supplementary geometrical materials concerned with algebraic problems is important in the development of algebra. Divisions, division figure consists of 36 proportions concerning the divisions of various figures into two or more equal parts of, parts of given ratios. Phenomena. Phenomena, a treatise on spherical astronomy surveys in Greek. It deals with a celestial sphere and contains 25 geometrical proportions, optics. 
upright shapes of cylinder and cones with view from different angles. Euclid contributions. Euclid proved what is generally known as Euclid's second theorem that prime numbers are infinite. He talked here about the three current problems of time, namely dividing an angle into three equal parts, making double of a cube, obtaining square from a cube. He solved unsolved problems related to irrational numbers. He also discussed that called Euclidean algorithm for finding the greatest common divisions of two numbers. He is created with the well-known proof of Pythagorean theorem. He also formulated few mathematical theories. Euclid axioms, the following are the Euclid axioms. We connect two points in the straight line. We extend the line in both sides, right? And the triangle consists of 90 degree. We can draw the circle from the center point. Knowing the biographies of outstanding mathematicians can inspire the study and scholars to pursue their interest in mathematics. Knowledge of history of mathematics will enable the teacher to introduce the topic effectively. I hope that all of us to know the contributions of Euclid in different branches of mathematics. Thank you.